In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the status icons data field on your Garmin Instinct watch. Now, I'm using the first generation Garmin Instinct Solar. It shouldn't matter which version of Garmin Instinct you've got. Again, though, as long as it's the first generation, since they've got a second generation coming out, not real sure if this is going to change at all. But the status icons is a data field. Your Garmin Instinct has various watch faces you can pick from. And then you've got various data fields you can pick. So I've got my heart rate up here. Now my heart rate's not working because the watch isn't on my wrist. I've got my solar charging and my battery. I've got my sunrise and sunset barometric pressure. One of the options you can choose is called the status icons. I'm gonna do that by pressing and holding the menu button. Then I'm gonna press GPS to choose watch face. And then I'm just gonna press GPS again because I wanna customize this current watch face. Now I'm gonna choose customize by pressing GPS. And I'm going to choose any one of these values. Now I'll say this, I shouldn't say any one of these values. The status icons is only available in this round upper right hand uh, data field. You're going to find that with most things on this watch. Some data fields will let you choose any values. The one that's going to give you the most options is the one that's currently blinking for me. Now I'm going to use the up or down button and I'm going to cycle through until I see an icon that looks like this. Now you've got a couple different options. You'll notice this one has a dark background with the light icons. We can also go through and choose the same thing, but with a different color scheme. There we go. Light background with the dark icons. What this does is this will display your current battery life, whether or not you've got do not disturb on, whether or not you've got an alarm set, and then whether or not it is paired with your phone. So it's kind of a uh, catch all as far as the status of the watch. I'm gonna go ahead and press GPS to confirm it. I'm gonna press GPS again, I'm gonna go all the way through. Now I've successfully added the status icons data field to my watch. You'll notice now that it's added though, some of the values that we saw before are not showing. That's because I'm not currently using them. But I'll show you kind of how it works. So for example, you can see that for my phone, there's a line through it because it's disconnected. I'm gonna go ahead and press the control button and I'm gonna go through here and I've got battery saver turned on. I'm gonna turn it off and now I'm gonna go back and we'll see that there's no longer a line through there because now it's showing me that my phone is connected. It's gonna do the same thing if you've got an alarm set. It's gonna do the same thing with do not disturb. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the control button again and let's put the watch on do not disturb. So let's cycle through. I've got it set up as a shortcut. I'm gonna put do not disturb on, same thing. If we go back now, we can see that little moon icon that's showing the do not disturb is on. It's kind of a nice way just to glance at your watch and see various settings without having to go through each of the individual settings. Anyway, that's a quick look at the status icons data field. I hope it helps.